having taken a break early from his business for the day, Ben is in need of some R&R, Japanese style. And his favorite place to go is his local Sento. If you come, you should definitely try to go to a Sento. It's not something for the bashful. I've seen people come from abroad sometimes and they want to insist on maybe wearing some swimming trunks or something into the, into the bath. Um, don't do that. Nobody's going to be staring too much. A Sento is a public bathhouse, a cultural experience with its own unique dress code. But naked or not, as with all aspects of Japanese life, there are still customs to respect. When you walk in, uh, you're not supposed to just jump in the uh, bath right away. There's like these little stalls uh, where you sit in front of those and you kind of lather up and you know wash your face, wash your body. After washing, make sure there's no soap left on your body before hopping into the bath. And of course, everyone has their own more personal rituals. Communal bathhouses have been a feature of Japanese society for hundreds of years. But it was only after the Second World War that Sentos became an integral part of Japanese urban life. There was like a post-war reconstruction era where people didn't have a lot of running water or gas in their homes. And so people in local communities would gather in bathhouses and that sort of really cemented them, I guess, as part of Japanese culture. You know, men, women, kids, you know, old people, young people, everybody. It's kind of like all families come together. To prevent too many blushes, there are separate sections for men and women. I guess when you go to Sento, there is a sort of a, a sense of community to see the same people and, you know, everybody's working different jobs, but, you know, once you come inside, you're all sort of <laughs> naked together in the same soup bowl, if you will. Ben is a big fan, but he's not welcome in all Sentos, as tattoos are still associated with organized crime. Just be aware that a lot of them don't allow you to come in if you've got tattoos. So if you're not sure, either get a Japanese friend to help you or ask them when you come in. Really, when you're done with your day and like all your muscles are tense, this is just a place where you can go in completely and totally, you know, relax and nobody's going to bother you. 